with, with Elaine Donnelly's considerable help, 1,160 plus mm -hmm. former flag and general officers, people like Jack Sheehan, mm -hmm. have signed a letter yes. explicitly warning the President and the Congress that if this law is repealed, for reasons among those you mentioned, they will break the all-volunteer force. And again, let's be clear, this is the only military we've got in a time we're fighting not one but two wars. Uh, we're, we're about out of time, Elaine, but I want to ask you about that letter that so many of the general and flag officers have signed. Uh, that's not insignificant. It's, it's a, a very strong statement from military leaders. But I, I want you to explain, uh, kind of the final question I have for you, to explain to the viewers why they're not hearing from present-day military leaders and why we're seeing it's retired members that are speaking. Because in the military, everyone is subject to civilian command, and there are rules against questioning the president. Uh, you cannot make derogatory remarks about the president or any elected official. This is part of military culture, and it's a right. good thing. We need that kind of respect for the commander-in-chief. However, the president is taking advantage of that. And a lot of people who we know are not in favor of repeal of this law are being told, well, you better not say anything. There are even some focus groups that are going on around the country. And we're hearing reports that when people say, well, why are you doing this? We don't need to re repeal this law. We need to retain it. They're told, well, we're not here to talk about that. We just want you to tell us how to solve the problems once the problems are created. Yeah. That is not a good way to make policy for our military. I think the president is out of touch. He's taking his direction from the LGBT groups to whom he thinks he owes his election.